not that green. Not the sticky icky. Well, kind of the sticky icky, depending on the way you look at it. Anyways, guys, hey, what's going on? I'm headed out to Mexico Sunday morning at 6 a.m. A nice little treehouse porch bomb just hit my doorstep in this rainy, uh, darkness day eve. Um, and I got a box from Mr. Nate Ryerson from Behind the Bar Beer Reviews. Um, check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below of this video and today he ever so graciously sent me some malts he sent me treehouse green um canned on 10 14 of 15 time of recording is the 23rd of october so just under 10 days old um being touted as the best batch of green yet so this is my third time having this beer 7.6 percent alcohol by volume um dar just did a side by side with julius or um, Grulius or Juline, whatever, um, people are raving about this batch. So, as you can see it, let's see here, well, trying to get that camera down, malts, um, I can smell it already, I can smell that, um, freaking just gusher, hold on, um, this one does pour out a haze for days, cannot see through it, fingers worth of fluffy white bubbles, just, Honestly, looks amazing in the glass. I mean, there's not much else to be said about green here. This is dynamite stuff, so let's get the nose into it. Oh, yeah, man. Fruit stripe bubble gum for days. I mean, I'm getting all that, like, that yeasty character that is so classic to Treehouse. Big-ass pineapple. Big peachy aroma this time, like an Amarillo peach, even. Oh, yeah, just a rind of peach, flesh fruit, pineapple, mango, a little bit of guava in there, papaya. It, it's, it's a tropical fruit bomb. This is the best smelling can of green I have ever, ever had. Man, these malts, though, they just, oh. No, really, though, this, um, this might actually destroy everything I've ever had in an IPA, officially. I was I was never really fully on Team Green, but I'm the fucking conductor now of Team Green. This is wicked. Oh, just soft bitterness. Um, a little bit banana-y, if you will. Um, again, sorry about the lighting, but let's dive into the taste. I can't even wait. My mouth is so full of saliva. Cheers. Massive shout out to you, Mr. Ryerson, for making this happen. Oh, man. Here's a freeze frame opportunity. That's my old face. No, not really. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, everything that's in the aroma is just dominating uh, the taste. There's like this melonous... Um, cantaloupe, soft bitterness quality, this orange tangerine, this pineapple, this guava. There's so much fucking tropical fruit in this glass. Truly an experience. Um, bitterness is perfect. It uh, just kind of glides across, across the tongue, slides down it, sits there, lets you know it's an IPA. peachy, apricot, it's, you name a fruit, it's pretty much there. Wow. Uh, the new can, too. Absolutely my favorite. I like it even more than Julius. Um, yeah, so there are hints of orange sorbet. Interesting. And tangerine. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can pick up on that note. I do get that soft... Yeah, when you look for it, and you're being told that it's there, it's a little bit easier to pull out. Uh, but yeah, no, there is this really soft, creamy orange character, almost like there's lactose going on. It's just like, um, I get it, that soft, orangey note. Hmm. To be noted, I'm drinking this above 55. Um, this is a little warmer than I typically drink most of my beers on camera. Um, I'm all for warming up the IPA post-refrigeration. 
this did get cold and then sat out for 15 minutes. Um, but hey, this is freaking baller. Did it actually say 7.5 on the can now, not 7.6. Didn't know that either. Well, you learn something new every day. Every time you review a beer, it changes. But really, it's time to talk about green being the best IPA in America. Um, it destroys plenty. Uh, there are some of those uh, Top One Goliath beers that I really, really love, but they're really, um, they're single hop, so all the more power to them. But this is, this is the love of hops in one can. This is just perfect, perfectly brewed beer. I, it's Hunnets for sure. Um, God, wow. No comment, you guys. This is, I've never loved green as much as I do today. <laughs> Man, I need to just sell the house, convince the wife to move to Munson, and we'll have just a massive treehouse party. Like that Cards Against Humanity box? Yeah, I did too. Um, hell of a game, by the way. Especially when you're drinking green. But yeah, Hunnets is all I got, man. I'm speechless. I don't have anything else to say about the spear other than that it is the GOAT of IPAs. Personal opinion. Team Green. Hashtag Team Green. Hashtag Gushers. Hashtag Bangers. That's a chat. Hashtag Juiciness. Hashtag fucking GOAT. Greatest of all time. This beer simply has captivated my mind today and i hope you all get it <laughs> running out of words cheers <laughs>